Now, over the past two years, I found myself getting interested in the idea of mobile gaming, whether you are playing mobile games like Call of Duty Mobile or streaming your favorite console games to your phone. You typically want a great controller to enhance your experience. I started my journey to look for the best smartphone controller back in about 2001 when I made this video on the original Razer Kishi. That being said, side note, who let me post this video letting me look this orange? I know I was still, I'm still learning how to color grade and I'm still not great at it, but I don't know how I thought this was okay. Anyway, I wanted to follow up on the previous two videos of the Razer Kishi and the Backbone with a comparison of the most popular and well-known devices currently on the market. Those devices are the Razer Kishi V2, the Game Vice Flex, and the Backbone. Notice how the Backbone still doesn't have an updated model unlike the other two. But before we get into any of these, I would like to make it clear that this video is not sponsored, but the great people over at Game Vice sent me over the Flex unit a few months back, and the people over at Razer were very kind enough to send me over the Kishi V2 for the sake of this video. No third parties will be seeing this video before it's posted, neither company have any input on my impressions, and all the feedback I have is 100% just my plain thoughts. Anyway, let's get into this comparison before my hyper fixation from my ADHD wears off and I get distracted by another task. Dude, what are you doing? Hey, I just started doing some laundry. I've been dreading it all week and then out of nowhere, whew, got all the energy. I'm ready to clean everything. I'm just so ready to have a nice, clean, organized space. Don't you have a video to film? Oh crap. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I forgot, I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, the best place to start would probably be form factor. When looking at these three devices, it's easy to tell that the Backbone and the Razer Kishi V2 both have a very similar stylistic design, where you're able to extend the body of the controller in order to fit it around your smartphone of choice. Whereas the Game Vice Flex actually seems to be designed similarly to that of the original Razer Kishi, having a clasp in the back to hold the controller in its condensed form when not in use. If you're working with a small amount of space in your bag, this can be an advantage, but but otherwise the Backbone and the Razer Kishi V2 aren't that much bigger when not in use and thus isn't really a big deal to me overall, but it could be to you. The next thing to take note of is the fact that all three of these controllers have some form of the following buttons slash inputs on them. These being the ABXY buttons, inverted thumbsticks, option, menu, and screenshot buttons, shoulder buttons, and finally the branded button that launches the companion app for each controller. Now a couple little notes here, the first one being that the Razer Kishi V2 also has these M1 and M2 buttons on the top which can be remapped to any function you really prefer in the Nexus companion app. The Flex has a home button which on iOS launches the Game Center. I'm not sure what it does on the Android model, but it seems pretty useless to me on iOS. I never use Game Center, and if I want to switch between games, I'll go to the companion app. And lastly, the Backbone also sells a PlayStation version of the controller, but the only difference there is the colors and the face buttons that are changed to reflect the square, triangle, circle, and cross buttons found on the PlayStation hardware. And yes, I called it Cross. It has been confirmed to be the proper name of that button, so I will continue to call it Cross. It is here that I'd like to note how the buttons feel. The uh, buttons on the Backbone and Razer Kishi V2 both have a clickiness to them, which I actually really enjoy. While the Game Vice Flex seems to be a little bit mushier and seems to have a bit more travel. This is obviously a very small thing to many people, but I do prefer a more clicky feeling when it comes to controller inputs. And if I had to choose between the Backbone and the Razer Kishi, I would probably end up picking the Backbone. I feel like the Kishi V2 has a louder click or maybe a more high-pitched noise when clicking, while the Backbone seems to be a bit of a lower click noise. Again, small things to have issues with, but you're probably watching this video to help you make the correct decision and I'm trying to give you everything to the last detail. Oh, and it's also worth mentioning that the Flex and the Backbone both happen to have headphone jacks while the Kishi V2 doesn't. This doesn't affect me because I end up using wireless headphones when I'm using my phone, but this could be a factor to take into consideration if you are looking to purchase one of these devices. As for response time, I think they're more or less virtually the same. I can't really tell a difference in response time or performance between the three, and I'm not a frame counter, so I think for the average consumer, there won't be 
many complaints, if any, when it comes to the controller that you decide to pick. As I mentioned previously, each device does let you take advantage of their respective apps that are free to download on the App Store, whether it's Android or iOS. But um, the Backbone app is just called Backbone, the Flex has Game Vice Live, and the Kishi V2 has Nexus. Each of these apps basically just organize your game library in one spot and make it easy to swap from each game during a play session. Aesthetically, I prefer the Backbone app. It's completely just a preference due to the round edges of the icons and just the look of the app is more appealing to me. But there are some notes that I believe you should be aware of. Both the Backbone and the Kishi V2's respective apps both include ways to remap buttons on your controller, but I was unable to find anything like that on the Game Vice Live application. It's possible that I just was unable to find it, but if that's the case, then I think that's kind of a design flaw if I'm spending so much time trying to track down this specific feature. I also wanted to mention that if you have an iPhone with the dynamic island or the little pill at the top that's featured on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, you might have some problems with parts of the menu in the Game Vice app basically hiding behind the pill. This could be fixed with a future update, but I believe I've had the app since October and it's still not fixed today in March. So do with that what you will. And I can't speak to how the Nexus app functions on the iPhone since I have an Android model of the Kishi V2, but the way it's formatted on Android leads me to believe that there wouldn't be as many issues, if any at all, when downloaded on iOS. Okay, so now would be the point where we talk about the extras, the things that you don't really see on any other device in the lineup. And the Flex seems to sport my favorite added feature, which is the ability to use the device on your phone, but with a case on it. In box, they include these little spacers that you can use to adjust the fit of your phone in the controller. And I hate having to take off my case, especially when traveling and just being able to pop my phone in and play a game is pretty awesome. The Kishi V2 comes with some added plastic spacers that you can replace with the ones already on your device, but I definitely think it's still meant to be played without a case. The backbone is kind of funny because it didn't seem to include any spacers or anything to help adjust the fit of your device, and I didn't notice this until writing the script, but my iPhone 12 Pro Max seem to fit just fine. And now I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which has a thicker camera bump in the back and it does not sit properly. I looked on Amazon to see if I can find a list of compatibility and it seems like they now include an adapter in the box for those newer phones, which is great. The last thing I found interesting was the fact that my original Razer Kishi did come with a month free of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. The Kishi V2 does not include a trial and from the looks of the listing on Amazon, it's not going to include a trial of Game Pass. I did, however, receive a free trial for Game Pass with both the Backbone and the Game Vice Flex. So that is a great perk considering how much you're spending. Speaking of spending, you're probably wondering how much are these controllers? Well, as my script was written, the Game Vice Flex is currently $100. The Backbone is also $100. And the Razer Kishi V2 is at 96 all within the same range. Now, if I had to choose between the three controllers myself, it would probably be the Backbone. It's been around a lot longer, so the app seems to be more fleshed out and formatted properly for my phone. Of course, I need to get my hands on one of the adapters for my iPhone 14 Pro, but to be honest, I really do enjoy the fact that I can use my phone with the case on when it comes to the Game Vice Flex. It's just more convenient and that's almost worth it to me a bit more. If Game Vice was able to swap out those mushy buttons with some more clicky ones and update their app to work better with my phone, I think it would be my all time favorite handheld. All this said and done, each controller is a great product in its own right. Razer really stepped up its game from the previous model. Game Vice also did a great job on their second iteration. But if you noticed, the Backbone has been around all this time and it hasn't needed a second variation. Its design was great from the get-go and it functions just as great as any of the competition. But you, you might want to get the Game Vice so you can use your controller with your phone case on. Or maybe you want to pick up a Razer Kishi V2 because it's from a brand you're loyal to and you have enjoyed some of their previous products. It's all up to preference, but I hope I hope if this video did anything, it helped make your decision a little bit easier and you're able to play the games that you want in the way that you want to play them. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you pick up one of these controllers? How are you liking it? And be sure to slam that subscribe button for future video game content. I really do appreciate you guys watching the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.